great with that. <laughs> you lifted your life up, honey, from the basement. Oh. You lifted yourself up. That's how you know a lot about this, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I, I was so in debt that it felt like I was playing football with high heels and a dress mm -hmm. against the credit card mm -hmm. companies. Right. And I just took a small step and I started a company with $17 and a glue gun. Girlfriends yes. are your yes. vitamin G. And, and you got your friends. Oh, look at your vitamin Gs look right in the that. house. Mm -hmm. And also, men talk like they're laying bricks, and women talk like we're tossing well, salad. So we need to go to our girlfriends because they talk the same way. They do. And you know, gratitude, they find that gratitude helps people to be more resourceful, Absolutely. have more energy, and mm -hmm. more determination. And as a coach, I see that when people become grateful, they're more able to spot opportunities. Well, that's, yeah. My name is Eli Davidson. I'm a specialist in something called turnaround techniques. So one of the biggest problems that I've heard is lying. What's the first lie you want to talk to Josh about? First lie I remember you telling me is that you'd never betray me. So when you found out that wasn't true, how'd you feel? Angry and disappointed. So put that brick in the, in this bag, the bag of lies. There you go. What's another lie, big or small? He lied to me about hanging out with his ex-girlfriend. And he was? Hanging out with her, and ultimately he cheated on me with her. Put that brick in. What do you want, Josh? I want you to be able to hug me now. I don't know if I ever will again. My credit cards are actually in here. I froze my credit That's cards. That's a hunk of ice. <laughs> this is a real hunk of ice. I think you can find them in there somewhere. Oh, I can see, see the can edge of one them? right there. Can you yep. see them? They're right in there. Because some people say just cut them up. And, and some, for some people, that's just too scary, and they're never going to do actually it. They're actually right here. They yeah. really are. Can you see them? You can <laughs> see it. But the idea of having them frozen means that you have to really think twice while it's thawing before Absolutely. you can get to it again. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have to think long and hard before you get to those credit cards. And you talk about the importance of, of cash Absolutely. versus credit. Um, one of the ways that I cleared my own credit card debt was that I did live on cash, and I made little envelopes for myself. Notice that I put clothes first. <laughs> that tells you and something. And then food comes and in then food. But, but by using cash... You're very conscious. I mean, when I would run out of cash, I had no more money to spend. Right. You know, when it was down to those little brown coins, that was it. I was not buying anything else. So when you've got cash, it's a lot easier to stay on your budget. Well, it's really interesting. Americans have vacation time. Yeah. They're they just not taking it. it. Right. And now with all of the, you know, rising gas prices, mm -hmm. mortgage, yep. you know, people are just freaked out and mm -hmm. not taking their vacations. So the first vacation to take, take a vacation from a your match. cell phone. That's a genius idea. Blackberry. Turn, Turn it away. All off. So if I walked in and said, um, Hey, BlackBerry wants to be a sponsor. I'm friends with the president of BlackBerry. <laughs> Wouldn't the sales guy go, well, that's my job. He's doing my job. So yeah, toe stepping. So toe stepping. Right. right now, what's the solution to that? You know a solution. Introduce my friend to the president, to the sales guy, but then I won't get the credit. Well, not necessarily. See, See but right. look, at how, okay, look right. at how our conversation <laughs> has just gone from fear of keeping yeah, my uh -huh. job to, wait a minute, I just created a possibility to help my business thrive. We did that in the moment right but now. So what I want you to do is hold your arm out. Just hold one arm out and resist. Hold strong and just say your name. Heather. Ooh, Heather is strong. You're strong. Wow, that's, that's pretty great. So now I want you to just think a thought of see yourself doing something you know not to do. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. All right, hold strong. Oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing?